Hello friends, welcome to Global Online. I am Vishakha and today we are going to discuss our NET exam 2022 paper 2 economics practice MCQs part 2 on the unit first economics and we are going to clear our concepts from the microeconomics through MCQs. So let's start today's session. Before starting our today's session, I have an important announcement for the students who are preparing for upcoming NET exam. 2022 we have launched a full syllabus course for paper to economics in that course we have included mock tests full syllabus notes video lectures practice mcqs and pyq as as we know the importance of pyqs of any exams preparation we have included in that course with the solution pdf okay uh, if you want to join this course you have to just download the app from play store with this official logo uh, and then you have to select your course from that. Okay, the fees for this course is 4 triple line and now you are going to get paper 1 study material absolutely free. Okay, it means you are going to prepare this full exam easily with this app with this course. Okay, uh, just hurry up and join the course so that you can start your preparation as early here is a simple app display so you can join easily this is our first page first display of app then you will get this window uh, you have to just search for the app with this official logo on the play store you will get this window and search for the store on this window and you will get the list of the courses we are offering you have to just select your course if you want to take um, example or test or practice you can get in that course particular course just select your category and uh, start your preparation okay let's start the session this is our first question of today's session one of the essential condition of perfect competition is what is the perfect competitions essential conditions there are uh, many conditions for the perfect competition and what are the one of the essential condition from the given options we have to say but we have to choose the correct answer okay purna pratyogita ki avashyak sharto mein se ek hai these are the options product differentiation multiplicity of prices from identical products of one time many sellers and few buyers same price for same things at one time okay these are some options there are uh, slightly difference in the given options and we have to choose the perfect competitions condition okay the correct answer of this question is option four same price for the same things at one time okay in a perfect competition there are the uh, same price for the same things at a at one time okay in the perfect competition there are many sellers and many buyers that's why there is a price for same things at same time okay what is perfect competition let's uh, see Perfect competition is a situation in market where all the elements of monopoly are absent. This is the main word of this uh, sentence that uh, there are the elements absence of monopoly in a perfect competition. Uh, what are the features of perfect competition? Number of buyers and number of uh, sellers are very large. Okay. And they will complete with each other. Okay. Compete with each other. Buyers and sellers do not control the price of commodity. Uh, here the price could not be controlled by the seller or the, by the customers also due to the large number of influences the commodity sold or brought is homogeneous in, in nature uh, homogeneous is nature homogeneous in nature which means goods produced by the different firms and identical in nature and perfect substitute for one another this is also one of the feature of perfect competition Firms and industry can enter and exit freely. This one is also the feature of perfect competition because no free entry or free exit in monopoly, but it is possible only in perfect competition. In the condition of perfect competition, buyers and sellers have a perfect knowledge. So if a seller tries to raise the price, he loses the customer. Uh, here we can say the example of two a uh, fruit seller okay fruit seller we are getting this example okay this is a first fruit seller and here are some another fruit seller both have a same fruit 
who are selling okay uh, he is selling apple this one also selling apple and the price of that apple is 50 rupees okay 50 rupees both have 50 rupees price but if first fruit seller increase his price to 60 rupees and another one keeps his price as 50 then the customer what will do the customer customer will go to the second fruit seller not for he will not uh, what we can say he will not attend or entertain to the first seller uh, why the price of that apple is 50 is perfectly fine to the customer but 60 is greater than 50 so this fruit seller will lose the customer his customer okay this is the condition happens in which can, uh, which competition the perfect competition okay let's see the next question the condition in which market supply matches the market demand is called here is the condition which is condition the market supply okay this is our graph where market supply matches to the market demand where it uh, matches in that point okay this is the point what it points called this is the our question okay options are equalization normalization equilibrium and none of the above what will be the answer the answer will be third equilibrium santulan okay this point is equilibrium of that supply and demand of the commodity or market okay the price at which equilibrium is reached is called equilibrium price and the quantity bought and the sold at the price called equilibrium quantity uh, equilibrium can be of price or can be of quantity when the market supply is greater than the market demand we say that there is excess supply in the market at the price okay when the market demand exists market supply at the price it is said that excess demand exists in a market price uh, here can be another say, uh, conditions can be like excess supply or excess demand in that condition that equilibrium will be not fine okay equilibrium in the perfect competition market can be defined alternatively as a zero excess demand or zero excess supply where we can find the equilibrium point in that situation okay where the demand excess demand and excess supply is zero whenever market supply is not equal to the market demand and hence the market is not in equilibrium this condition also not entertain to the equilibrium okay there will be tendency for the price to change next question Question number three: Minimum support price is recommended by which of the following institution? This is a direct question from the macroeconomics. That is, uh, which minimum support price is recommended by which institutions? Options are Food Corporation of India, Food and Agriculture Organization, Commission for Agriculture Cost and Prices, Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Which institutions? The correct option is option three: Commission for Agriculture and Cost. cost and prices okay this institutions uh, recommend the price for the commodity minimum support price the government announces minimum support price that is msp for the agriculture commodities specially this is announces for the agriculture commodity in each year both the crop seasons after taking into the account of recommendation of the commission of for agriculture and cost and prices okay here are some commodities uh, which comprise uh, comprise okay uh, 23 commodities which seven kinds of cereals five kinds of pulses seven kinds of oil seeds four commercial crops here are the name of that uh, cereals pulses oil seeds and crops also these 23 commodities uh, price is recommended by the institution next question a situation where the expenditure of the government exceeds its revenue is called when the expenditure of government is greater than the revenue generated from the government what situation is called options are default revenue budget deficit default financing or deficit revenue the correct answer is option b budget deficit budget ghata is the correct answer for this question Uh, here a budget deficit is a situation where the expenditure of government exceeds the revenue that's what we want to answer of uh, uh, answer the question generated by the government a budget deficit reflects the financial health of the country 
uh, how is the budget deficits show the financial health of that special country in that case the budget deficit the current expense by the government exceeds the amount of income received through the standard operations okay here are some measures available to the country to correct its budget deficit how they can budget deficit uh, control uh, by the cut by the cutting certain expenditure of government or increasing volume of activities that can be generate more revenue okay this is budget deficit works this is next question duopoly is the special case of which type of market structure uh, in a market structure there are some uh, more cases of that market structure and duopoly is one of them uh, options are oligopoly imperfect competition monopsy and monopoly the correct answer is option a oligopoly duopoly is a special case of oligopoly what is oligopoly buyers many but sellers few this is the feature of oligopoly buyers many but sellers few with intense competition product has close substitute and intense competition among its sellers if one seller introduce change others have to follow high cost of marketing and selling okay here is high cost is also the feature of oligopoly what happens in oligopoly that product has close substitute also in that uh, market or in that count, uh, competition then entry of new sellers stuff due to the economic of scale entry is tough this is not like a perfect competition entry and exit are very tough for that uh, sellers okay the seller is a price maker here in oligopoly the seller is also price maker zero price elasticity of demand means what in which situation the elasticity of price will be zero we have to tell that in uh, given options okay Uh, options are whatever the change in price there is absolutely no change in demand for a small change in price there is a small change in demand for a small change in price there is a large change in demand for a large change in price there is a small change in demand when if the change in price doesn't make any change in demand is zero price elasticity means there is no change in a demand because of the price this is a zero price elasticity okay then what will be our answer option a will be our correct answer the degree in uh, degree to which the effective desire of something goods or services changes as it price changes is called price elasticity of demand we, here we can get the definition of price elasticity of demand simply we can call elasticity also in general as things become more expensive people desire those things less this is the law of demand where the price is greater then demand will be uh, less or when the price will be less the uh, demand for that commodity will be greater okay let's discuss next question which of the following correctly describes the nature of indian economy what is the nature of indian economy options are capitalist economy socialist economy mixed economy none of the above we have read somewhere or we learn in our economy lectures or uh, heard somewhere in about the economy that we have a mixed economy okay the correct answer is option 3 mixed economy what is mixed economy let's see the indian economy has socialist tilt but it is not a socialist economy as the public sector has been presented only in the essential sectors other have been left open to the private sector also means what we have a socialist tilt also and private sectors open to the others also uh, so we have a mixed economy most economies are today mixed economies that is the government and the market together answer three question of that of what to produce how to produce and how distribute is produce in mixed economy the market will be provide whatever goods and service it can produce well the government will provide essential goods and services which the market fails to do this is all the nature of the mixed economy okay next question in india inflation measured by what options are wholesale price index number consumer price index for the urban and non manual workers consumer price index for the agricultural laborers national income deflator the correct answer is option a wholesale price index number with that the india inflation measured the wholesale price index represent the price of basket 
of wholesale goods why this is the base of uh, counting the price because this is a basket of wholesale goods wpi that is wholesale price index focuses on the price of goods that are traded between corporations okay it does not concentrate on goods purchased by the consumers its main objective is wpi that is wholesale price index is monitoring price drifts and reflects demand and supply in manufacturing construction and industry also wpi helps in assessing microeconomics as well as macro conditions of an economy inflation rates are based on wpi which is released by the office of economic advisor under under the ministry of commerce and industry 2021 and 2012 is a base year for the wholesale price index okay there is always a base year to counting any index okay here we can say w, uh, while we are counting wholesale price index we have to take 2011 and 2012 is a base year for that there are few uh, there are four series which cpi unme urban non manual employee cpi al agricultural laborer cpi rl rural laborer and cpi iv industrial workers okay next question which of the following is measured by the lorenz curve okay uh, options are Ill illiteracy unemployment population growth rate and inequality of income here is the correct answer is option 4 by the lorenz curve you can count or you can measure inequality of the income lorenz curve represent the distribution of income and economy this is how the lorenz curve look alike okay it is represented by the straight line despite the perfect distribution of income uh, distribution of income this is the perfect uh, distribution of income this line is showing that and this is lorenz curve okay lorenz curve is beneath that line which shows the estimation distribution of income the area between the straight line and the lorenz curve is a called gini coefficient this area is called gini coefficient which represents the degree of income inequality okay further the curve the higher the inequality let's see the next question a good for which demand decreases with increase in a income of consumer is called what options are public goods complementary goods inferior goods and given goods correct option is option c inferior goods uh, how we can say inferior goods to anything as the income of consumer increase demand for the inferior goods falls okay and the income decreases the demand for inferior good is rise here is a vice versa condition for the income and the demand for that some goods inferior that is called the inferior goods inferior goods include low quality food items like coarse serins inferior goods demand is inversely proportional to the income of the consumer this is the uh, main feature of inferior goods okay so uh, here is the end of our today's session. We have learned some concepts from microeconomics and we are going to learn more concepts with more MCQs in the upcoming session. Okay, thank you for today's session.